Hi, welcome back to Angie's Pantry. Today I'm going to cook a whole chicken in the microwave in my Tupperware stack cooker. Um, it's going to take, let's see, it's six minutes per pound of chicken and I've got a five pound chicken. So 30 minutes I will have a rotisserie chicken because that's what it tastes like, just like a rotisserie chicken and some awesome broth in less than 30 minutes. Let's get this going so I can show you how I do it. So now I've got the chicken all washed and cleaned out and rinsed out. I always cut off the tips of my wings. I don't know why, because I'm a little anal. But anyways, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil on here. You don't have to do this. I like to do it. I think it helps keep everything in check, you know. So I've got some poultry season, some chicken Canadian chicken seasoning, some lowry salt, and some black pepper. So I'm going to take a little bit of the poultry seasoning, and you want to get inside too. I'm just going to sprinkle it all over, just, you know, season it up, and you can use whatever seasoning you choose. I'm putting a little bit on there. Then I'm going to go to the Canadian chicken seasoning. Inside and out. Some Lowry seasoning salt. We use a lot of it. Now you can use Kochner salt if you choose, or sea salt. Whoops, spilt salt, never a good thing. Black pepper. And this is a uh, Restaurant style ground pepper. Love it. All right, we're all nice and seasoned. The Tupperware season, Stack but... Cooker is an awesome product to have in your home. The reason why you could do a three course meal in this. But today we're not doing that. So I'm going to need the lid. And inside you have this cone. We're going to shove that right up the chicken's little hole there. We're going to put this aside and this one aside. And I'm just going to use the big one. Then I'm going to take the chicken and set it in there, breast side up. Put the lid on it. Put it in the microwave for six minutes on high heat and it shall be done. I'll be back when it's all ready. It's been taken out of the microwave. It looks beautiful. It's rested for five minutes now. This is what it looks like. Beautiful. It smells so good. I'm using the top half or the second part of the stack cooker and the one with the ridges in it so that it can drink better in here. Because so I want to get this out of there. And I'm going to use that stock for my chicken soup. So I'm just going to stick that right in there, take the cone out. Oh, it smells wonderful, guys. I wish you guys were here. smell of vision And I've got probably about a cup and a half of stock. I don't know if you can see it through there. Beautiful, thick stock. And that's no, no added, no water added to it. That's just from the chicken. Now I can either freeze that and use it at another time, but like I said, I'm going to be making... Um, some more recipes out of this one chicken for my household. I've got about maybe three recipes made for this. I will let it cool, finish cooling, and then I will take it apart. That's it. Make my meals. I hope you guys saw how easy it is to use this Tupperware stack cooker. You can make three course meals. This is the same stack cooker that I use to cook my ground beef or my spaghetti or whatever because the fat strain off in the bottom. Um, if you're interested in looking at one of these or checking out any type of Tupperware, check out my link in the description below. And it costs nothing to go shopping, window shopping, right? All right. Bye. Take care. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.